I believe that deep inside you know what makes you happy. But there's a lot of different reasons and voices that will try to make you look away from that. Because if you don't look away from it, it means change. And that's scary, but you want it. And you need it. I'm not sure when it started, maybe like 20 years ago, 15 years ago, I got like very interested in uh, natural materials. So I would walk around, learn how to find edible plants. I gathered information about, about weaving, learning how to make rope from whatever material, learning from how indigenous people did this. I feel very connected when I immerse myself in this kind of knowledge, direct knowledge from nature. And that kind of made me connect to nature in a deeper way. And I think from this, I just started working with natural materials, creating stuff, getting ideas. And then I think somehow, somewhere, I saw this video of someone making a spoon. And I was like, I want to do that. And that was maybe, I think maybe three years ago, I made my first spoon. I need a plastic baggie. What I like about spoon carving is I get to go out in nature, I get to connect with the elements, I get to breathe, I get to have silence, I get to hear the birds, I get to see water, wind, clouds. It gives me all those things. Somehow, when I'm carving a spoon, as soon as I take the axe or sharpen my knife, engaging in this process, I get quiet. Suddenly I smell things, I smell the wood, I hear the splitting of the wood, I see the colors, I see the direction of the grain. It gives me so much knowledge just by doing it, the wood tells me how it wants to be worked or how it doesn't want to be worked. So it teaches me a lot. And I can reload, relate those teachings to myself. It's just hard to express what I find because it's so valuable to me. Like it gets so deep that it kind of feels funny to put words to it because it's so beautiful. And then with that come the moments where you don't feel, feel this beauty while you know it is there. And that's, that can be like difficult sometimes. I encounter where I try to sabotage myself from being happy. I fear that I found this beautiful thing and, if, and that if I fully trust it and jump into it and coordinate my life to be there, that I will fuck it up. And the struggle is that a lot of times this sabotage 
also wins over me picking up the axe and stepping into the process of quieting my mind. So the frustration and the struggle that I experience is where I do not pick up the axe. Even though I know what, it's, what it brings me when I do. I see this fear as a part of me that has pain or sadness or is afraid of happiness or of not getting happiness. And that when I go for the happiness, I'm going to leave it behind. And all it wants, and all it wants is to come with me, but yeah. So I am the big saboteur. <laughs> I, it's me. Hey. <laughs>